I'm going to do some Charleston modeling for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you have a set at home, give it a try because it really helps build confidence with decision making. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I'm going to roll the dice and counter on the table to figure out which seat we're going to be in for this exercise. I rolled a three starting here. One, two, three. So we're going to be in West seat, player three. So we're non-dealer. I'm going to get 13 tiles. This is the mock Charleston. Right across left, left across right. Let's see what we can do with these tiles. Okay, we have a pair of white dragons. We have nines. Ooh, and they're the right nines. I'm thinking like numbers with nines. Use this for joker bait. Maybe we could play three, six, nine as an option. Let's pass these three. There's a nine and a three. We have to make a choice. Let's see. I don't think we can use the three. Let's stick with nines. No keepers here. Let's pass these three. You get a joker just replace it there's a nine and a three we do have two tiles here's a six let's get rid of the six pass these three flower six eight i think we should stick with nines and give up on the three build around these multiples no keepers here. Let's pass one of each suit. There's a red dragon. Here we have nine white. Here's joker bait. Nines. I think I would focus on like numbers with nines and pass two for optional cross. Okay, we've got three discards and we have like numbers with nines. I would hold this dragon because we could maybe play the concealed hand and use these for joker bait or we could play like numbers with nines, the dragon, and the flowers, the first one. So I would hold all these. See what comes in. When you run out of discards, then you pick a hand. Let's go on to the next one. I rolled a five, so we're going to be the dealer. If north is four, the dealer is five. So we're going to get 14 tiles. Okay, we have north and south with reds. That's actually on the card. First hand under winds and dragons, north and south with reds and flowers. We do have a pair of threes here. We could do north and south with threes. Let's give up all these. Let's see, seven, eight, five, one of each suit. Oh, look at that flowers north and south north and south with flowers that's why you don't want to pass flowers so let's pass 
these three. We don't have any keepers here. Let's pass these three. We're so close. I don't want to leave myself with a pair. So I'm breaking it up right now. Okay, so now we can do... It's all going to be a little risky. Let's pass one of each suit. Let's keep the east. We could maybe do the noose concealed hand. Let's pass these three. No keepers. Let's pass those. No keepers. Oh, let's pass cross. Optional cross. These three. I don't think there's anything in here, but we'll go through those motions. Four discards. No gaps. We can Kong. We need a North and a South or Jokers. And then we have our pair here. So even though we have five discards, I still think that was a really good Charleston. Look at that. North and South with red. Okay, we're going to do it one more time. I rolled a six, so we're going to be two, four, six. We're going to be in seat two. Non-dealer. Pair of threes. There's a three and a white. Let's see. I think maybe like numbers with threes. That would use both multiples. As an option, let's see here. We could maybe do a year hand. Let's pass these three and see what comes in. Flower, south, four. Two thousand and eighteen. First hand, no flowers needed. Hmm. I still like the idea of like numbers with threes. Let's break this up here. Let's pass these three. Oh my goodness, I hope nobody would ever pass a pair of dragons like that. We could play like numbers with threes concealed. Let's let's pass all these here. White. Here's a pair of twos. Two, three. All these dragons. Let's see. I still think like numbers with threes is the best. We need a three bam in here. Let's pass these. There it is. We'll pass those. Okay. This is a little risky, but we have no gaps. And I don't want to pass a flower. Oh my goodness, look at that. Okay, what could we do here? Let's see, three. Like numbers with threes and the dragon. I think I would stick with what I have and ask for no tiles. I would just say, no optional cross. You could always ask for one and see if they'll give you a pass. 
but a lot of times if you ask for one in the optional cross you'll get a decline because look how close we are here well we're really in between but they don't know that we're in between like numbers with threes right here and the dragon the first one or like numbers with threes concealed we could use these as joker bait I would discard that and see what happens. That was kind of fun though. Look at that. Everybody sees something different when you get your draw in hand and you can really make just about anything work. For these Charleston modeling exercises, if you would have done anything differently, write one, two, or three in the comment section below on what you would have done. But I think they were pretty successful. It's a really great way to practice decision making if you're new to the game. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston modeling for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.